Good morning or afternoon, Professor Samira Mubarak. My presentation is going to be about the Professor of Animal Science, Templo Grandin. Templo Grandin is a well-known academic in the fields of animal science and autism advocacy. She is a professor of animal science at the Colorado State University and is famous for her work in improving the welfare of livestock, particularly in designing more human and efficient systems for handling and slaughtering. She is also an advocate for individuals with autism, and as she herself is on the autism spect spectrum. She has written numerous books, given TED Talks, and appeared in documentaries and interviews to raise awareness about autism and the unique perspective and abilities of individuals on the spectrum. Her story has inspired many and has led to a greater understanding and acceptance of autism in society. As it was described by Haley, and Pennington in 2018, Temple Grandin has been found to be an excellent example of someone who focuses on their strengths as opposed to their weaknesses, an aspect that is key in the transformational leadership theory. About her leadership style, as I mentioned in the previous slides, and after a robust research about leadership style theories, I concluded that the transformational leadership theory is the theory that describes better her style of leadership because it emphasizes the leader's ability to inspire and motivate followers to achieve extraordinary outcomes. Transformational leadership theory describes the forms of behavior that help to explain how charismatic leaders influence employees' behavior, an attitude that appeals to use solid and expressive form of communication, as is described by Eterstad and Olsen in 2023. Also, Watts, Steele, and then Hartog identified transformational leadership as a key skill for promoting employee innovation. A few examples of, the, of her success uh, described by Carvel Fish, we can find revolutionating livestock handling system. One of Grandin's most significant success is her innovative designs for livestock handling systems. Her research and inventions have transformed the way animals are handled and slaughtered in the meat industry, leading to improvement in animal welfare and the reduction of stress and suffering during the process. It's remarkable to say that half of the cattle in the United States and Canada are handled in equipment that she has designed for meat plants. She is also an author of books and public speaker. She has authored several books, including Animals in Translation and Thinking in Pictures, which have become bestsellers and have helped it raise awareness about animal behavior and autism. She is also a public speaker delivering presentations and conferences and events worldwide, where she shares her insight and experience. <clears throat> she also is an advocate for individuals with autism. As someone who is on the autism spectrum herself, Grandin has become a prominent advocate for individuals with autism. She lectures parents and teachers throughout the United States on her experience with autism. Why she inspired me? She inspired me a long time ago during my studies to become an animal doctor that was my previous career in my home country in Chile. Because her compassion for animals, her deep empathy and concern for well-being of animals are the same value that I share or I feel for them. Her work has led to improvement in how animals are treated in the meat industry, reflecting her commitment to reducing suffering and promoting human treatment. Also, she overcome adversity. Despite facing challenges associated with her autism, Grandis has not only success but excellent in her field. Her story serves as an inspiration to many, demonstrating the power of determination, resilience, and embracing our differences. Also, but not less important, her intellectual contributions. Grandin's research writings, writings and public speaking engagement have made significant intellectual contributions to the fields of animal science and autism research. Her insights have inspired further research in innovation, driving positive change in both areas, but especially in animal science related to, my, to the meat industry that was in my previous career. Among the challenges of her leadership style, it was the resistance to change. Granting innovative ideas and unconventional approaches faces resistance from individuals and organizations used to traditional methods. Implementing new practices, especially in the meat industry with previous old-fashioned norms and practices, 
were met with acceptance and pushback. Also, communicating challenges. As someone on the autism spectrum, Grandin encountered many challenges in communicating and social interactions, which sometimes led to misunderstandings or barriers in explaining her ideas effectively. Clear and effective communication is crucial for leadership, and navigating these challenges may require for her additional effort and especially a strong, a strong support. She also overcame biases. Despite her expertise and, award, and awards, Grandin encountered biases due to her gender, autism diagnosis, diagnosis, and unconventional leadership style. Overcoming these biases and earning respect and credibility in the male-dominated or traditional environment can be an ongoing challenge. And last, she managed expectations. As a prominent person in animal science and autism advocacy, there are very high expectations placed on, on Grandin to continually innovate and achieve results. Why Temple Grandin contribution and impact are widely celebrated, it's important to recognize that like, that like any individual, she is not immune to criticism or controversy. One aspect that some critics have pointed out is the potential ethical dilemma surrounding her work in the meat industry. Despite her efforts to improve, to improve animal welfare within existing system, some argue that indirectly support that indirectly she supports an industry that raises and slaughters animal for consumption, which may conflict with ethical or philosophical beliefs about animal rights. Additionally, there have been debates about the long-term effectiveness of her livestock handling systems, with some critics questioning whether they truly eliminate all the stress and suffering for animals in the meat uh, production process. These critics highlight the complex ethical considerations and ongoing debates surrounding Grandi's work and her broader implications for animal welfare in the meat industry. But as she, but as she say, but to my practical, scientific mind, it makes sense to provide a painless death for the cattle that I love. A very strong sentence and very powerful for me. In conclusion, Temple Grandin's remarkable journey serves as an inspiring testament for the power of resilience, innovation, and compassion. Her groundbreaking contributions to animal welfare and autism advocacy have left a powerful mark on society, revolutionary industries, and, challenge, and challenging perceptions. Despite facing numerous challenges, Grandin's commitment to her causes and her visionary leadership continue to inspire individuals around the world to embrace diversity, adversity, and a strive for positive change. Thank you very much.